Greetings, my friends! My name is Aiden, and welcome back to the realm of Arcanus. In the last video, as you can tell, we built a little bit of new stuff, such as our home, this nice enchantment tower, our animal farm and windmill, which I still think is very ugly, and I will repair that at some point. Very ugly windmill, but not terrible, just ugly. However, we have a few set goals in mind for the last video, and Unfortunately, the last video did put a bit of a dent into my tools, so I'm hopefully going to be repairing them today as the goals will imply. So let me list them out for you. My goals in mind today are to design my house interior. I want to do some fishing. I want to locate another village for enchantment books. I want to go into the, go into the nether and explore a bit. Hopefully find a fortress, grab some blaze rods if I can. And whatever village we may find, I want to build a portal network to that village. And with the enchantments I could acquire from the villagers there, I could get some maxed out enchantments for my armor. And then once my armor is maxed out, I want to try and do a raid. So yes, those are the goals of today. And I actually haven't come up with any concepts for what I want to do for my house interior. But I guess we'll just get to building and see how it goes. I think we can put a nice shelf with some chests here. There we go. That looks nice. Build a nice stone table right here. Or I guess a stone shelf, technically. I'm gonna make some yellow dye, because I want to go get some sheep. We'll just dye a couple of our sheep yellow. Do a bit of shearing. Take our wool and craft some lovely light blue and yellow carpet. Ah, that is looking nice. Oh yeah, side note, I did move the cows over to the animal farm, but nothing else. I was too lazy to do anything else. Place some carpets up here as well. We'll actually pl place this stone cutter right in the center here. We will actually make a second bed as well. We will construct a nice outline for our bed. I'm actually going to make a few fences for the logs. Place a nice rotation of stairs around this top section. Got a few more trap doors right here. Ah, and now our first sleep in our new bed. It's kind of symbolic that we just slept in our new bed and we've now reached day 100 in the world. I'm gonna go run over and gently shed my cows for their leather. And by shed, I mean stab. And by gently, I mean very violently. Hello cows, don't mind me. Well, I was hoping to get more. I probably should have bred you guys, shouldn't I have? Oh yeah, I never cleaned up these chests. I should probably do that too. Off screen, of course. should be enough. We'll then craft our bookshelves. I'll place them right here. Of course, we're definitely going to need to build that up a bit more. We need more leather. Let's go cow tipping. I could kill the horses for their leather, but I'm violent. That's psychotic. Horses are more important to me than cows will ever be, so... Yeah, I really probably should have bred them before I killed them, but... We all make dumb decisions, do we not? Listen here, my bow I invent. I'm just going to have a quick little chat with you with my sword. Aw, they didn't want to talk to me. Oh, more volunteers. Aw, these guys didn't want to talk to me either. It's kind of sad when they just vaporize out of thin air. Ooh, hello, bees. Oh, hello there, good sir. What kind of trades are you packing? Nothing I need. No. Man, it's really just like these cows do not like me for some reason. Can't imagine why. All right, I keep accidentally murdering them with my sword.
And spot. I, I think the souls of a few more bovines should satisfy my quench for destruction. Oh crap! These ones have a child. I can't murder them. Dang it. These guys, on the other hand. Well, would you look at that? A ruined portal. You don't see those all the time. But we might as well collect what we find. Well, of course, take your gold free of charge. Thank you. Eh, nothing we need. I'll also scavenge this crying obsidian for personal reasons. I think that's good on our leather count. Let's go back and make some literature. Perfect. I think for a bit of aesthetic, we'll also make some of the newer bookshelves. Ah, these look really nice. I think that looks pretty nice overall. I'm actually going to make these three into lecterns that we can use for our trades. That'll wiggle. I'll just throw all this in here. I have no organization whatsoever. I'll actually smelt some of these. I wouldn't want this meat to go to waste, right? Overall, there's definitely more we could still do, but I think this looks pretty nice. I might change it in the future. I could always change it in the future. I think that does it for the interior, so why don't we get to the next step, which is the fishing process. And our first fishing rod is crafted. Let's see what kind of treasure we get from our first cast. Okay, a salmon. You know, thinking about it, I actually could enchant this and make this process a lot faster. Hmm. Well, why would I be explaining this when it's very obvious to everyone watching. Let's see what kind of luck we get with you, my friend. Ooh, not terrible. I'm gonna go make another one and see what we get. Fish. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now I just have to make an anvil so we can combine to them. Now I just gotta, gotta smelt some iron. We'll wait. Alright, that should be good. Bonk. Eh, a bit costly, but not terrible. Back to the fishing grind. Ooh, normal cod. Oh, a Nautilus shell! There's seven more and we can make a conduit. Ooh, a name tag. Puffless. Ooh, a saddle! Ooh, we got a tropical fish. Another salmon. Make a few more castings and we'll move on to the next phase of what I have planned. Ooh, an enchanted bow with Curse of Anjing. Yeah. I think one more and I'll head, bed, head to bed. All right, three pufferfish. Not a bad haul if I do say so myself. I'll just throw all of this in here. And then, I'll sleep. Alright, now that we've done some fishing, we're going to move on to the nether. And personally, I think I might need a little more obsidian than what I have. So, I'm going to run down to the mines and grab some. See you there. And here we are. So let's get to digging. A lot easier with an efficiency pickaxe, I'll tell you that much. I didn't go to college for what I'm doing, and yet I'm still enjoying it. For those of you who understood that reference, feel free to laugh now. I may have gone a bit overboard gathering a stack of obsidian, but you can never be too prepared, right? Now as to where I actually want to build the nether portal, let me show you guys. I think up on this hill ha always had a nice vantage point of the area, and I think it would be a great spot for our portal. It would symbolize where it is, and could be used for a future build. We'll definitely make our nether portal look nicer. It doesn't have to look nice right now, but we'll get there when we get there. All I need now is a flint and steel to light the sucker. I gotta be careful when going into the nether, especially with my armor's current durability. It's not great. And if I damage it too much, it's gonna crack and break.
Not sure what I should do here, because I feel like if I go into the Bastion, I'm going to get attacked by Piglins, specifically Piglin Brutes, which will definitely destroy my armor and me as well. I guess I could run back, grab my saddle, and then find a Strider that way. That would be the smart thing to do. And you know what? That's what I will do. And probably not go that way, because there's a lot of enemies that way. Or try my way through fastly. <laughs> Just going to make my way back to the coordinates that I remember. Oh, my pickaxe is in break. I'm not going to dig my way because I, I feel like if I start doing that, my pickaxe is eventually going to break, and I really don't want that to happen. Right in the middle of digging. So I'm just going to have to make my way back there on foot if I can. Yay me. Yep, there's my bridge. Let's continue on. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy! But not crazy enough to get me killed. Don't worry, Aiden. You're fine. You're completely 100% fine. As long as you just don't do anything stupid, you'll be good. But knowing how I am, that's looking like a very good possibility. Oh, hey. Bastion again. We're almost there. Let's just dig the rest of the way. Please don't hit lava. That would be the worst if we hit lava. Not lava, my friend, but lava, the substance. I'll just make a few quick repairs. Oh, wow, that's a lot less than I was thinking. All right, and now we just have to take all this. I tried to craft it into a fishing rod again. Make another rod. Combine the two. And we have our warped fungus on a stick. For simple and easy strider transport. All right, back to the heck hole we go. Ooh, that would have been a bad drop if we run in there. How do we get down from here? Without dying. Oh, well, we can jump to there. Hmm. It's a risk. I'm told to take! Now, where did we go from here? I believe we went this way. I don't actually remember. Probably shouldn't go that way, because there's a lot of lava right there. And it most likely will lead to our death. I'm sorry for all the, like, talking about not dying, but... When walking through the depths of the hellscape, it's kind of hard not to. surprised we haven't found one yet. We're covering as much ground as we can. And there's probably one close. I just I probably missed it or something. If we don't find one going through here, we'll go back the other way. This area looks a bit promising. We'll enter and see what we find. Okay. No fortress, but there is a ruined portal here. I'll take the obsidian. And the gold. All right. Let's keep going. Another bastion. Really? All right, we're back in our prime hunting grounds for fortresses. Let's continue on. Seems like we've reached a dead end and there is no fortress in this area. All right, turn her around. Yeah. Faster. Hello, other bastion. Oh, our time 
and effort has finally been awarded a fortress. We would have found this so much sooner had I just gone, uh, right. But we will try and make our way over here. You, you can stay right there. I hear blazes. And I have entered a Telebra Fortress. I said that wrong. I'm an idiot. Ah! Alright. <gasps> Be very cautious when walking around this place. <gasps> diamond! More diamond. And some iron. Hi. Okay, bye, gasped. Uh. Hello, fellas. Yeah! Oh, there's uh, quite a few of you. I'm on fire! Ah! Bring it! Ow. He brought it. Oh, hey, chest. I already looted you. Never mind. Woo! Level up. Yeah, bro, you might want to leave. It's not gonna be great for you. Oh! Hi, fellas. Yeah! Yeah! Ugh. Oh, that was a bad idea. He baited me. Ow, I'm on fire again. Oh, okay, not gonna go down there. All right, eh, I think six is enough. We'll come back for more later when we have better armor. Or when our armor is repaired. Either way, we'll come back. Woo! Oh, why are you right there? That was inconvenient timing. All right, let's go home. All right, now he's got to put our stuff away after our little trip to the nether. That was not fun. My adrenaline was pumping hard. And I'm not going to not going to organize this at all cuz that's not how I roll most of the time. What I will do, however, is get us ready for our voyage uh to the east, I think. Nope. Yep. The uh the east. So from what I know about the enchantments that I want to get for our armor, I want to get fire aspect and looting for my sword. I want to get mending on all my items to repair them with XP, obviously. I want to get unbreaking to make sure that none of my none of my stuff can obviously be broken as unbreaking does. As well as feather falling for my boots so I have a harder time dying to fall damage. The protection provides plenty of, well, protection against that, but like... It's not made for that. Fa Feather Falling will definitely help significantly with that. But I shouldn't need to explain that to people with brains. It's gotta make a few more bookshelves. There we go. I gotta grab my obsidian again. It looks like it's turning night, so I'm gonna quickly slip. If you're confused as to why I'm going east again, like I did in episode two, it's because I'm not really going east so much as I am going uh, southeast which I believe is this way, because I'm hoping we'll find a village much closer that way as opposed to where we were before. Because while that Taiga village was not as, was a bit lengthy, it's not that far, but it still will definitely take us time to get to and from. And also I would just like to find an area that is much, much closer. Also, I'm just gonna avoid this Cardians at all costs because that might happen if I get too close. Arcane, why have you forsaken me? Also, hi, dolphins. How are you? There once was a boat that sailed the sea, and Aiden was its captain. He he went to find the villagers to max out his armor. That's a lot of kelp. I hope this mining fatigue isn't too much of a problem, but I know it will be. Ooh, ice caps. Oh, a tundra. I was not expecting to find that. Oh, but there is a plains biome or a forest over there. I'm probably gonna go to the forest more than the, ti the tundra. I might not have any choice though. Here we go. There's a tundra village over here. Mock speed! Mock speed! Woo! Riding in style. Relatively small, not, actually not, it's not that small. It's not that small, but not as big as I was hoping it would be. Oh, ice spikes. I go this way, see if I can find something else. 
Yeah, wow, you go fast on. Oh, there's another one. Wow, wow, flying around, out of control. Polar bear. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hi. Hey, just know that there might be a man named Lava who might come for you. Protect your children and protect yourself. It's a warning. I leave you now. Mm. Polar Bear's like, who the heck is this dude? This nice handsome guy with the light blue mask. Wearing the shadow the shadow costume. Hmm. A plains biome is my kind of territory. To be honest, I prefer a plains village over anything. <gasps> Is that what I think it is? Oh, this one's pretty big. This one is very large. This one will most definitely suffice for us. We should also probably take care of that lava before it burns down the village. There we go. I'll take this gold block as payment. Just kidding. I don't require payment for my services. Hmm. Yeah, we have a blacksmith, a church. Uh, oh, key cast. Uh, and then a bunch of, a lot of houses. Yeah, this is very sizable. Definitely gonna work for what, what I need to do. I'll take this iron and some apples. All right, first things first. Let's find where this portal will take us. The question is, where do we build our portal? Uh, I think this hill could work for a portal set. And I think this hill could work for our portal. Oh, we have a nice view of the tund tundra village or of a tundra village. All right, let's see where we end up. Oh, well, hello there, Soul Sand Valley. Right on the edge of a Soul Sand Cliff. Not ideal. From what I can tell, the coordinates are relatively close, so I suppose we could just start building our tunnel there. All right, let's not waste any time, and let's get into the time lapse. Let's go. All right, we have indeed arrived at our portal and we have connected the two via a very, very, very long tunnel. Uh, it took didn't take as long as I was thinking to build. I think like maybe 10 minutes at best. Uh, but yeah, tunnel established and ready to go. So I suppose we should just move back over to the other village and uh, get set on our enchantment. So uh, let's go. So it goes without saying that we would need to obviously place our lecterns to get the villagers to start trading with us. The only problem with that is the fact that I don't have any emeralds on me or with me. Uh, and so we're going to need a source of income. So uh, I'm going to go grab some, uh, some flint and I'll be right with you. This cave should work. Also, hello, bat. Just got to hit a few of these. There we go. We also need to chop down a tree so that we can get some wood to make said items. And to those who are curious what we are making, we are making a few fletching tables. Fletchers can trade for sticks, which are probably one of the most easy going trades in the game. And we have no villagers who are interested, so we're gonna have to break a few workstations in order for them to become interested. And we now have a few Fletchers, from what I can tell, or at least one. And yep, he is trading sticks for emeralds, so let's go gather some wood. All right, we have uh, three stacks of wood. That should be more than enough for, what, uh, for the sticks we require to trade to the Fletchers. So uh, let's get to the trading process, my friends. Whee! Hey, villager, I've come to bargain. Sticks for emeralds, now. <laughs> Sir, would you like to trade? Sir, I've come to trade my sticks for some cash. 
Is that an acceptable agreement? Clearly, because you are giving me the money. Now, obviously, I could keep trading sticks for emeralds, but that would take a lot of wood chopping, and I don't know if my axe has the durability to do that. However, from what I do know about Fletchers, is they also take string at their third level of trade. So if we theoretically purchase multiple bows to up their level to the third, and we can successfully distribute string to all of them from our spider farm. It's a plan of full brilliance. A waste of bows. For all. Walk its path. And yes, we now have our string trade. And that will be our most effective tool. So I'll be right with you once we have our string. All right, and we are back. And yes, these bows have not despawned yet because we have not been in this area, so the entities will not go away. They are just gonna sit there for a while. But until then, we'll just start trading with you guys and start getting our string. And trust me, when I say trading string to villagers is a very efficient. Sir, can I help you or are you just gonna keep staring at me? Have you heard, has your mother ever told you that it's quite rude to stare? Go the other way, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I can do. You know what I can do to you. But I won't because I'm a nice person. When I'm not murdering animals, of course. Where's the other Fletcher? There's a third one. Where'd he run off to? And yeah, from those trades, we have almost two stacks of emeralds. Like I said, efficient. Now you might think, obviously, we have to get to the trading for the bookshelves. But Aiden, you don't have any books. And that's because my dumb person brain forgot that we need books to trade for enchantment books. So I'm going to be right with you and I'm going to get some leather and sugar cane. Let's go. I'm sorry I have to mask your kind again, but duty calls. This mountain's really weird looking. It's very crooked, but that's what I like about Minecraft's land generation. You never know how weird things can look until you see them. There are a lot of horses in this area. Maybe I can find my champion horse here if I'm lucky. Knowing me, I usually am when it comes to Minecraft. I don't mean to brag, but luck is always on my side in this game. Squid used to share a model with the cow, so does it count if I get leather for killing them? All right, after doing a bit of scouring, we finally have all the sugarcane and leather we require. I did have to travel around a bit uh, to get it all and massacre a lot of cows, but it paid off. Hello, sir, how are you? Oh, forgot to mention this earlier. I stopped by my house to get some wood in case I need to trade for some sticks, in case I ran out of string, of course. But you know, with a spider farm, how will I ever run out of string, right? I did the calculations, and I think for all the enchantments I need to get, I require approximately 17 books for all of my armor and weapons. Because I'm not just going to be enchanting my armor and my sword, as well as my tools. I'm also going to be enchanting my shield to be a lot stronger than it actually is. Now, let's just begin the process of breaking and rebreaking. We will have to break a few workstations to actually get the villagers to trade for some lecterns. So, I'm sorry, villagers, but you're going to have to be unemployed for a second. I did not mean to break your floor. Let me fix that. I'm not sure how many other villagers there are. I think there might only be four, so we may have to breed them up a little bit. All right, and now we can begin the... All right, and now we begin the process of breaking and re-breaking. Nope. Wow! Wow, that's very early, and I am definitely going to take that. Absolutely, I'm going to take that. Thank you, good sir. Thank you for all of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need a few more emeralds. Hold on, I'll be right back. Like, thank you for all of this. Wow, you are being very generous. I am very, very appreciative of this, sir. Thank you. All right, I don't know about you, but I want to go apply all of this to all of my items immediately. So uh, let's go run over to my XP farm and start grinding. We, of course, need to apply the mending enchantment to all our items first before we do anything.
including our fishing rod, of course. And yes, I finally feel fully defendable. So let's get to the XP farm and start grinding. That's all our tools fully repaired. Took about uh, almost an hour, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are now fully repaired with our tools and we're gonna make our way back over to the village and uh, finish trading. I actually decided to grab some string while I was down there. So we're actually gonna be able to get a lot more emeralds. So uh, let's uh, let's go, Whee! All right, now we have arrived back and I would like to continue this recording as best I can. But unfortunately, I have been pressed for time, and I currently have to stop, so I'll see you guys uh, the next day, and hopefully we'll be able to finish up. All right, see you. All right, it is the next day, and I am ready and rejuvenated and ready to play. I said ready twice because I'm a bit uncoordinated. Woo! So we still have five enchantments we have to acquire, being a breaking depth strider, looting, fire aspect, and unbreaking. Now, I'm not sure as to how many villagers we have around here, but I do know that we do still have a few that we can utilize, such as these two, for example. So, uh, yeah, let's utilize them the best way we can. Ooh, I like ye. And we don't have enough. Hold on. Yes. All right, two down, four to go. Nope. Ew, ew, okay, just get out of my sight. Okay, well that's not fair, but I don't need that right now, so I'm not gonna take it. Ooh, that's a nice enchantment book right there. That was a good, that was a good. Nope. Ooh, baby, that's another good one. We only have two left to go. I may need more string. I'll be right back with you. All right, and we are back with as much string as I could acquire because there wasn't much left in the spawner. However, I did also enchant my items, as you'll see right here. Crap. But yeah, I made sure to put the fire aspect on my sword. I put all the enchantments on my boots. And you'll see that, as you will see, right here. But yes, we are now going to get the last two enchantments we need, which are breaking and looting, and hopefully we can get them swiftly and not have to be too tedious about it. But first things first, we do need to get two more villagers in order for this to work. Meaning, we're gonna need some bread and some carrots. I don't know if other people know this, but the only way to get villagers to breed is to also have two open beds for every villager. For villagers to properly breed, they need a certain amount of bread, which I believe is three per villager. And then they need an ex they need an open bed, meaning we are unfortunately going to have to kill some sheep, sheep so I am sorry. All right, that's all we need for the wool. Now we just need the bread. Oh yeah, I also turned on my wood. I'll grab this, wool. I'll grab this hay so I can make some bread. Bread! And now, we play the waiting game. All right, I'll see you guys when the villagers have started breeding. Whoop! Oh, oh, they're doing it! They're doing it! They're doing it, come on! We have a child! I know, they're all going inside. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, they're all, they're both breeding. We have another child. Woo. Wait. Oh, never mind. All right. Now we just gotta wait for wait twenty minutes for them to grow up. Hey, I didn't see it happen, but welcome to the gang. Hey, we got it! All right, now we just gotta wait for this one to grow up. I do, however, need four unbreaking books, and I don't have the emeralds to currently afford them. So, uh, let's go get some more wood, and I'll be right back. I currently don't have the emeralds to afford the other two unbreaking books, or and enough to save. So, let's go get some wood, shall we? Alright, that should be enough wood. Let's get to trading. Hey, you grew up. Nice. Alright, now let's get to the grind for a looting enchantment. I've had to do this many times before. It's never been fun. But, in the end, it does pay off. I've said that before, but eh, I'm lost for words sometimes. Yes! Oh, finally. Feels so good. Thank you for your time, sir. You are free to go to sleep. All right, and that is finally, we have all the enchantments we need. So let's go to the spider farm and add them all to our stuff. All right, see you there. So I know this is a bit in the middle, but I thought about it last night, and it dawned on me that doing a raid ain't gonna be easy with just using a sword, so I'm gonna need a secondary weapon to shoot at them with, and considering I don't have my trident yet, I may or may not have to use a bow, something I am very bad with, but can very be very effective when utilized properly. So we're gonna need to max out our bow too, which shouldn't take as long, but still be another tedious process, so let's get to XP grinding. Brace and care. I renamed this blade the Sword of Altus. Before I continue, I have to get one more thing. <laughs> All right, we're good. Alright, I think we're all set. All our enchantments are pretty much maxed out for all our tools, our sword and our bow. And yeah, everything looks really good. Our armor included. So uh, I guess the next step to do is just get ready for the raid. So uh, let's do it gamers. So obviously before we start the raid, we are going to need a few things. We already have our food and our weapons and emeralds so that we can buy some arrows. But there's one specific item we need that I will find in a second. Ah, here we are. A bad omen bottle. For a quick explanation, in the 1.21 update, they released this item, the Bottle of Omen. This bottle allows you to acquire the bad omen effect, which is dropped by a raid captain. Normally, when you use to get kill a raid captain, you would acquire the bad omen effect immediately. However, the game dev developers decided to change it and make it so you only get it when drinking this bottle. So, more or less, raids are kind of optional now, and can be done all the time, pretty much, and it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we're actually gonna get stuff set up, and this, go to work. Before we actually do start the raid, however, there is one thing we need to get. Actually, there's a few things we need to do. 
form of arrows. And of course, the villagers are going to be the primary target of the illagers. So the best way to keep them safe is to keep them secluded. And that would be by doing this. I know that probably looked really easy in editing. Trust me, it was not. All right, the moment of truth. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Intense battle music, initiate. That's three. That was most definitely a day of glorious battle. And so, I leave these villagers to freedom, to salvation, and to hope. This village can rest, and so we shall return home. However, I think if we're going to end this, we need to end it in a fun way. And personally, I think the best way to end this is to achieve the post-mortal enchantment. But until then, I'll see you all later. I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to comment, like, feel free. But until then, feel free to like, feel free for the comments, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you all later. So as I say, each and every day, lighting out.